Okay, so, the Swiss leisure carrier Edelweiss Air brought non-stop service to Denver back on June 13th after almost three years. I took this flight on June 20th, which means I unfortunately missed the re-inaugural by one week, but whatever. I'm just happy that I got another chance on board an Airbus A340. In fact, Denver Airport operates two commercial services using the A340-300 at the moment. One is to Frankfurt with Lufthansa, and another to Zurich with Edelweiss. You probably know that my previous trip report was on the Lufthansa A340 flight from Frankfurt, and now that I've taken the Edelweiss one too, I can officially say that I've taken them all. This will be flight 17, the inbound route to Zurich. Keep in mind that it only flies on Mondays and Fridays, so I was pretty lucky to even get on this flight. Anyways, let's head over to Denver International Airport for our 9 hour trip to Zurich. Here we are at the A-Gates. This part of the airport is inhabited mostly by Frontier, Delta, and JetBlue Airways, but it's also where the non-United International flights will be. While I have been here quite a few times arriving from Europe, I'd never departed from here before, so before heading to the gate I did some exploring. I found that the terminal doesn't have as many shops and cafes as the B-Gate area, but it's got some good stuff. We'll be at gate A45, but here at A41 I spotted the other A340 flight from here, LH447 to Frankfurt. Today it'll be operated by the one named Lunin, not the same A340 I took to Denver a few months ago. Unlike my flight today, this one is a daily service, so if you want to fly in one of these, you'll have a pretty good chance with Lufthansa. Okay, bad news. Our flight has been delayed 40 minutes, and as soon as I got to the gate, I found out why. Our gate is occupied by this Lufthansa A350 flying as LH481 to Munich. Because of this, my A340 is stuck on the taxiway and will be until this A350 leaves. So while the delay is in Edelweiss's fall, it'll still be a problem for me because I have only 55 minutes in Zurich before my connection flight to Vienna. Sometime later, Guttingen the A350 left gate A45 to begin her journey to Munich. Immediately after, the Edelweiss crew and gate agents came to the area as Bellalp the A340 finally made her way here. Unfortunately, we do not have any upgrades available for our sale. After quite a long time of waiting, they finally let us cargo class, I'm sorry, economy class people board. First impressions of the interior look super nice. They incorporated Edelweiss's color scheme perfectly in my opinion, having the seats be blue with the pillows and blankets red. Here at my seat, we've got a decent quality pillow with nice colors, and also a blanket, which is what you'd normally expect on a long-haul flight. One pretty cool feature I saw at this seat was this triple pocket, which could be super useful if you've got a ton of tiny stuff. Same with the tray table. I do like how you can extend it in two different ways, like if you just need a spot to set a drink cup but don't want to use up too much space, you can put it in this small position, but once it's mealtime, you can make it bigger. 
Edelweiss's economy class has about 31 inches of legroom, which is standard for a long-haul flight, but I didn't expect much more from a leisure carrier. In the seat pocket, you've got what you'd normally expect, the in-flight shopping magazine, which I don't really take a big look at usually, unless there's something I'm interested in getting. Here's the safety card. Finally, an air sickness bag. attention please for the following presentation about safety on board your hand luggage must be placed in the overhead bins or under the seat in front of you it is forbidden to place okay so we had pushed back finally but then we went forward right back to the gate again understandably i was super confused and a little worried too but soon the captain made an announcement stating that the crew had done two head counts, one during boarding and another before pushback, but they didn't match. So in terms of safety, I believe that you understand this decision. I'll give you an update as of how we proceed in the next uh, 15 minutes from now. Thank you for your understanding. Wonderful. Just wonderful. We're gonna be delayed again. At this point, it was pretty clear that I had no chance of making my connecting flight. However, I do understand that for everyone's safety, it's important for the passenger counts to match so that they don't lose track of anyone. This is no doubt a good reason to delay a flight. And while it sucks that I won't get to my Swiss A320 flight after, they said that they'd rebook passengers with shorter layovers on the next flights. <laughs> In the next five minutes, I promise you I fly at the max speed back to Zurich. <laughs> As I proved yesterday, I'm Kapitän. The problem wurde behoben. The bodenpersonal has aus Versehen eine Familie uns auf das Ladeplatz mit eingerechnet von vier Personen. Diese Familie ist aber eben nicht an Bord. In der Zwischenzeit ist jetzt ein Passagier noch aufgetaucht, der eigentlich den Flug verpasst hätte. Er ist der Glückliche an der heutigen Situation. Er wird uns hier auch noch. After about maybe 20 minutes or so, the issue was resolved, and yup, you heard the captain. He told us that because of the delays, he was gonna fly this 4 engine bird at max speed. And at max speed, he did fly it! The flight radar playback shows my flight reaching airspeeds over 600 knots. Talk about pushing the limits. <laughs> Now we're going to do a tour of the in-flight entertainment system. It is very similar to the one Swiss Airlines uses. As you can see, it's got a diverse selection of movies, TV shows, and songs of many different genres. It also includes podcasts, games, and audiobooks. While Lufthansa has a few certain features on their IFE that Edelweiss doesn't have, this one's a heck of a lot more responsive, gotta give them that.
safety reasons, you are required to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated or the seatbelt sign is switched on. Please ensure your fastened seatbelt sign. While I was watching a movie, the cabin crew came to my seat to serve my dinner, and first impressions looks pretty simple, didn't expect much more. For starters, we've got a, um, a salad, a warm bun, and a tasty looking dessert. Also, we've got metal cutlery, that's always a good sign. For the main course, I chose the lasagna, and okay, it does not look very appetizing. Edelweiss, you gotta improve on your presentation. And finally, I chose apple juice for my drink. So, my opinion on this meal, uh, it was edible. Definitely tasted better than the dinner on United. Not quite as good as what I had on Lufthansa, but at least you can choose a beef option instead on this airline. From what I remember, Lufthansa had lasagna as the only choice. However, Edelweiss still got to improve on that presentation. Once they turned the lights off, I decided to get some sleep, and I actually slept the entire time over the Atlantic and woke up when they turned the lights back on. By then, we were already above the UK. Cabin crew came around with breakfast. What stuck out to me about this is that Edelweiss offered a choice between a croissant or a bread roll. I haven't seen that often, even before the pandemic. I chose the croissant, and they also give you some jam and butter. And inside the container, we've got yogurt and some ham and cheese. I think it's like a traditional Swiss breakfast. And honestly, this is a lot better than what I've seen on most US airlines. Unfortunately, they have plastic cutlery this time. Pretty sad. They also gave out drinks. I chose a Coca-Cola to make sure I'll stay awake for the next flight. I also want to record it. Cabin crew gave us this pre-landing snack, and it's probably the Edelweiss version of Swiss chocolate. Let's open it, see what it is. So I really don't know exactly what this is. I'm thinking it's maybe a Swiss thing, and it tasted delicious. I would have definitely gone for another one. If you know what it is, please let me know in the comments. Later, the arrival information came up. Looks like it's E46 today. And while the pilots flew this jet at an unusually fast speed, it still wasn't enough to get many people with layovers on time. So I missed my Swiss A320 flight, which was disappointing. But then, I learned that passengers with missed connections have already been rebooked on the next flights, including me! I was originally supposed to take LX1578 to Vienna, which is listed there among the other rebooked flights. All we'll need to do is go to a transfer desk to get our boarding passes for the new flight, and we'll be set for Vienna. We have landed, and thanks to the speedy flying by the pilots, they managed to shorten what's usually a 9 hour and 15 minute flight to a mere 8 hours and 40 minutes. How did it go? This was definitely an enjoyable experience. In my opinion, Edelweiss offers a solid hard product and has also proven to handle tough situations quite well. Legroom is standard for European long haul, 
and while the seats are a bit narrow, they were comfortable enough for me to get a four-hour sleep. I wish there could have been more drink service, but the breakfast most certainly met, if not exceeded, my expectations. It was pretty standard considering what I have seen on European transatlantic flights, but I was happy that for once I wasn't served a stale croissant. It's not often that I actually enjoy an airplane breakfast, but Edelweiss managed to accomplish that. But it was the fact that they offered us a second croissant that made this breakfast service go from good to great. The plane was super clean, and the staff were as friendly as I'd hoped. Yes, the one and a half hour late arrival is going to significantly affect the final score, but what mattered the most to me was how it was handled. For one, the pilots flying this plane to high speed really showed how they cared about getting to the airport on time, even though that wasn't enough to do so. Still, they got everyone with missed connections rebooked on the next flights even before landing, not to mention that the initial delay wasn't the airline's fault. So in conclusion, Edelweiss Air has great service, a solid product, and wonderful crew. I'd recommend this airline to anyone. Final score is 7.5 out of 10. I wouldn't say Edelweiss is quite as good as Swiss, but if it wasn't for the delay, the score may have ended up higher than my rating for my Lufthansa A340 experience. Alright, got my boarding pass for the new flight, and looks like I'll be heading to Vienna on Austrian Airlines.